Welcome to Dr. Lee Unplugged, real insights from the cutting edge. This is a stripped down video where I share behind the scenes insights as a scientist and as a doctor on different health and wellness topics. It's raw, it's direct, unscripted, no sugar coating, just real talk and real science. And today we're going to talk about prostate cancer. Okay, so before we talk about the prostate, which is an organ that sits uh, sort of um, right between our cheeks uh, uh, in men, all right, uh, and has a critical role for reproductive health and overall health. Let me actually introduce another topic that's going to connect to prostate health in a second. And that topic is angiogenesis, all right? And I study angiogenesis in the lab, and so I want to share, share with you what that is. Angiogenesis sounds like a complicated term, but angio, blood, blood vessels, genesis, how our body grows blood vessels, um, uh, is a really important process uh, for uh, health in our body because we have 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels. And these blood vessels, your circulation, these are the highways and byways that bring the oxygen that you breathe and the nutrients that we eat to every single cell in the body, including the prostate. Now, when we um, need angiogenesis, our body's gonna be able to deliver that to us. So for example, if you cut yourself, fall down, scrape your knee, cut yourself uh, in the kitchen on a knife, you know, uh, you'll form a scab, all right, after the bleeding stop, you'll form, start forming a scab and it'll heal. But if you ever had a scab come off too early, what do you see? You see lots of bright red stuff underneath there. That's called granulation. That is new blood vessels, angiogenesis occurring, new blood vessels growing to actually deliver oxygen and nutrients, survival factors we call them, right to heal that wound. But when you've got just enough blood vessels healing up, that's it. It'll stop. Our body basically will just shut that baby down. All right. Now, on the other hand, uh, if there's too many blood vessels, uh, our body can actually control those as well. We know how to inhibit, our bodies know how to inhibit angiogenesis, how to cut off the blood supply when you don't want too many. Uh, that's sort of taming uh, blood vessels in the body. Now, 